Alright, hey guys, Simon here, back with our playthrough of Broken Swords, Shadow of the Templars, and we are walking around... What are we doing next? Oh, we have a lens. Uh, I think I'm supposed to be going into the church. See, again we're back into the... The priest was still busy with the chalice. We're back into the look for the next puzzle kind of activity, which is not interesting. I was thinking I'm putting the lens into here and then looking through it again. I don't know though. The lens fitted into the end of the scroll like a hand into a glove. Okay. So look through it. Per disciplinum meum lux vedebus. Hey. Uh Three lens elements need to be slid to the correct position within the circle so that when aligned they create a clear image. Each lens element can be moved by moving the mouse pointer over the number tab and when the grasp hand appears, clicking and holding the mouse button to slide it left or right. George will acknowledge the image once the lenses are correctly positioned. Oh, interesting. I wasn't expecting this. So I guess uh, this is right after all. See, like we've gotten, we got the priest to polish the the chalice. And that apparently wasn't... Oh. Below him, a date in Roman numerals. Uh, a Knight Templar burning at the stake, and a date. Thirteen. Let me see. Thirteen, fourteen. C C C X I V. That's thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, and. Yeah, so I mean, he was been polishing that chalice for a long time, and you'd think that if this was part of the same puzzle, you know, you like it will, it will be, it should be in the same sequence. Like you wouldn't be able to give him a chalice and and travel to Syria, and then come back, and and then he's still not done. It's a bit strange. Anyway, it's not too big of an issue. I guess it's just that it's misleading. Hey, thanks. It is my pleasure, monsieur. What was the writing on the chalice? It was not writing, uh, my mistake. It was a coat of arms. The remarkable thing is that it seems very familiar. Yeah? Oui. I think I have seen it on that wool tomb in the far corner. That winged horse is quite distinctive. Okay. I noticed that the stained glass window on the left looks more modern than the middle one. You have a keen eye, monsieur. The original window was destroyed in the last war. It was as old as the church. Early 14th century. Oh, man. That's awful. Oui. A terrible loss. Still, the church and the other windows survived. There's something on the chair there. Do you speak Latin? You ask this of a priest? <laughs> okay. Can you tell me what per disciplinum meum lux vedebus means? Let me see. That would be, uh, by my teachings, you will see the light. I think. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Alright. Boy, what a shine you got on this! Merci. It is all a distraction. <laughs> I don't know if I should be explaining these jokes. Like, no, like he he's polishing something and he's talking about wrist action. Like if, if that's not obvious to you, then maybe you're not meant to know. There's grease paint on this tissue. Oui, you are correct. Shake my hand, father. I thought about using the shake and shot, but I. Okay, never mind. I have here a sewer key. Ah, oui. All right, let's get out of Catch here. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Oh, that thing on the th on the chair's gone. Maybe it's part of his 
outfit or something. So how does this help? Per disciplinum, a night temp is third. There's still this. On the end of the staff was some kind of disc with a cross on it. Around the base of the disc was a hairline crack. Which doesn't help. And then there's this, apparently... Oh, I should look at the chalice first. Now that my attention had been drawn to it, there was no mistake. There was no name on it. But the coat of arms was undeniably the pegasus of the De Vasconcellos family. I'd found the last resting place of Don Carlos. My eye was drawn to the biblical references carved in the edge of the tomb. Hey, maybe these biblical references mean something. Oh, great, more code breaking. Let's see. A jumble of letters are... How is this biblical references if it's just a jumble of letters? Carved onto the side of the knight's tomb, you must look for and highlight a number of biblical verse references comprising of the name of a book followed by a chapter and verse in Latin numerals. So, for example, Luke chapter 8, verse 2, will be displayed that as Luke 8, 2, okay. You must find and highlight all the verse references. Highlight the full verse reference and letters will stay lit, otherwise, letters will fade. George will read the first verse reference once they're all highlighted. Well, that's pretty obvious. There's Psalms. Oops. Do I? Okay, this is interesting. Psalms 22, 21. Not much to go on, but it must have meant something. If I examine the tomb more closely, there might be other clues to find. Sure, sure. Um... I'm sure that's not a biblical reference. No, that's not. Okay. Psalms. That. Wait. Psalms. 32. 7? Psalms 32. Okay. Numbers refer to a chapter and a verse in the Bible. So you have to like, do it really slowly. Corinthians. Man, this thing is not very good, is it? Like you have to drag it slowly for it to paint the whole line. I guess there's like technological limitations with the age of the game and all that. Corinthians uh, apparently that's not all of it. Am I... What? Isn't that all of it? Is there anything on the outside? Is there... That's not a reference, I'm sure. I don't get it. What else is there? No, that's not... Oh, I don't think it is. Um... What? How does this work? <laughs> um... I mean, there's only that and that and that, like the colons, a, um, I don't understand. Psalms 22, 21, Psalms 32, 7, Corinthian. Oh, wait. 
Why is there an eye there? Is this in Latin or what? Four five. Can't see anything else though. Didn't he say that? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Now that my attention had been drawn, there was an item. Hey! A jumble of letters are counted inside. You must look for and highlight a number of biblical verse references comprising of the name of a book followed by a chapter and verse in Latin numerals. So, for example, Luke chapter 8, verse 2 will be displayed as Luke colon Latin number plus Latin number. You must find and highlight all the verse references. Highlight the full verse reference and the letters will stay lit, otherwise the letters will fade. George will read the verse references when they are all highlighted. Yeah, like, there's nothing there. There's... Psalms. Psalms 22, 21. Not much to go on, but it must have meant something. If I examine the two more closely, there might be other clues to find. Psalms. Oh wait. Unless unless this thing wraps around. Is that that's not even enough like I have to really slowly paint the whole line like this. That's A little bit annoying. Psalms 32. The numbers referred to a chapter and a verse in the Bible. Corinthians 14.5. This doesn't seem to make sense. No, that's not it. Um, I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. Walk through. I'm sorry, guys. Oh. Are you serious? No, there's not even a colon here. Are you kidding me? The walkthrough says this. John. 4. 11. There's no colon! ran around the plaque. I made a note in case they meant something. Psalms 32-7, John 4-11, Corinthians 1, 4-5, and just one more, Psalms 22-21. I may not be perfect, but I've got a memory like a steel trap. The chalice had led me to these inscriptions. But it looked like a happy coincidence to me. After all, the De Vasconcellos arms were already on the manuscript. Nope, I was still convinced that the chalice had some significance all of its own. Like, the, 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 like I considered 
vertical, but there's no colon there, and I didn't see the John. Okay, fine, fine. What are we doing now? Uh, la 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 la. Around the outside of the discussion to the numerals. 14, 27, 6, 81, 3, 1, 17, 12, 25. I don't know what any of that means. It was hard to believe it was the same chalice. Now the light gleamed off its perfect surface. I don't know if I, I don't know. Are we supposed to be here? Hello again, Father. Bonjour, Monsieur. How pleasant to speak to you again. Is the right? Can Catch I? you later. Au revoir.